Some people estimate this to be perhaps billions of cicadas. I'd be willing to wager that, hey, it could be even trillions of cicadas. Ready or not, the cicadas are coming. After nearly two decades underground, three species of the Brudex cicadas will emerge early this summer, and they're expected to hit the eastern United States hard. The big tsunami is going to hit the last two weeks of May if this year is anything like last year. And then by the middle of June, they will begin to tail off. And sadly, that will be the end of cicadas for 2021. So that's Mike Raup, also known as the bug guy. He's a professor of entomology at the University of Maryland. They're underground basically as immature stages for 17 years. And that is perhaps the longest live insect uh, underground. And I suspect the males will be out first. This is fairly common in the insect world. You don't want to arrive late to the party, right? So the males are going to be out first. So they get, uh, they get to maybe strut their stuff a little bit sooner to impress the babes. After they mate, uh, shortly after the males mate, they will die because, hey, they've done what they need to do. The females will live for a period of time, and during this time, they will actually be inserting their eggs in the young branches of trees. So the cicadas are emerging in 15 states and in the District of Columbia, ranging from Georgia to New York State and west to the states bordering the Mississippi River. Totally understand that some people are, are not going to understand cicadas. Uh, they can be fearful of cicadas, and I take that very seriously. But still, there are a lot of misconceptions about cicadas and what their arrival means. No, they don't bite. Uh, they don't have a chewing type mouth part, so they don't bite. Pets are going to love these things. Everything on the planet is going to want to eat a cicada when this comes up very shortly. Uh, so in addition to, you know, the squirrels, the birds, raccoons and skunks and foxes. Yeah, your pets are going to want cicadas. They're high quality protein. And certainly humans will eat cicadas. I will be eating cicadas. Ralph recommends not trying to disturb them. They really want nothing to do with us, but they might keep us up at night. We're not recommending people use bug spray. Cicadas will not be attracted to humans. All they really want to do is they want to get up in the treetops. The males will be singing their hearts out. It will be a big boy band. Uh, they're clumsy flyers. And if you are in between, uh, let's say, where a cicada emerges and the big party up in the treetops, these kind of clumsy flyers may bump into you. They may land on you for a minute. They are not attacking you. The male cicada has a special organ on its side. It's called a timbal organ. It's like a drum head. And they can vibrate that to make a whole variety of different songs or calls. Um, its abdomen is, is an amplification chamber to make the, loud, the sound even louder. And that sound can get quite loud. This can go to 80, perhaps 100 decibels. That's the sound of a lawnmower engine or a jet airplane flying overhead. So they're going to be very noisy. It's only the males that sing. And when they're up in the treetops, it's all about romance and courtship. We think it's a, just a spectacular, wonderful learning experience for kids of all ages. And uh, we just hope people can kind of put away their fears. It's been a, a pretty dismal COVID year. We just want people to go out and have fun with this and enjoy it for all it's worth. It's spectacular.